Hello, Egyptology lovers. Today I'm going to do a translation of a papyrus. This is a copy of a papyrus or a section of it, chapter 300, from a papyrus of the Hymn of Amun at the Rix Museum in Amsterdam. Now, this is the only known copy or only known source of Amun and the Holy Trinity of ancient Egypt, not being a monotheism, but actually being a henotheism. Uh, so where Amun, Ta, and Ra encompass all the gods as one. So the expression that goes in the papyrus is that all the gods are one. And I'm going to do a translation of just chapter 300, which starts over here and then will end down over here. And this is here that says chapter 300. Here you have the trinity itself. You have Amun being the basically the top uh, trinity of the trinity itself. Then you have Ra and then you have Ta. Amun being the hiddenness, Ra being the visible light or the you could say the spirit or the ka, and ta being the body and the flesh and the voice and the physical aspect. So it almost resembles a bit of the Holy Trinity of Christianity. You have the Supreme God, you have the spirit, and you have the body. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, technically. Uh, but it wasn't really. It's just, it feels like it is. It could also be a harking back, or it could have been something that was used. But what we're going to do is just read the papyrus, and you'll get a bit of an exposure and of the actual hymn itself and the first sort of true trinity that was established in ancient Egypt in the cult and the state god of Amun. So stay tuned for that. All right, everybody. So the translation is going to start over here and it says 300 or chapter 300. Three are all the gods being Amun, Ra, Ptah. There is no equal to them. Hidden, which goes over here, hidden, is his name as Amun. This he, Ra, as the face. His body is Ta. Their towns are upon the earth and fixed for eternity which is Thebes, or Waset, Heliopolis, or Iunu, and Memphis. In this particular translation, it's Ptahutka. Sometimes it's Hutkapta. And now we continue here, for eternity. A message sent in the sky. It is heard in Heliopolis, or Iunu. It is repeated in Tahupka, or Memphis, to the one with the beautiful face. So it combines it here, beautiful face. It is put in a scroll, or its scroll, in writing, which is all together here, for Thoth. And it is directed to the town of Amun, bearing their concerns. And the matter is answered, or here basically it's answered, the matter, which goes over here, matter, in Thebes, or Waset. Going forth, it an oracle for the gods, or the great Aeneid, the Pesajet itself. And coming forth, everything from his mouth, being Amun, Bound by it are the gods. By it, for what has been commanded and decreed. When a message it is sent, so when a message is sent, it for killing or for giving life. Life and death, for it depends on everyone except for him a total of three, and this means the three gods. Now in the papyrus, the after the word for him, there would be the three names of Amun, Ra, and Ptah, but it was missing there, so I excluded it just to stick to the actual copy itself, and it would say the word total of three. And there's the translation, it's chapter 300, regarding the trinity of the Amun cult of Thebes. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments if you have any questions.